Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. DICE is getting a bit of a reputation for predicting the future. First it was the collapse of the Arecibo radio telescope, then it was the blockage of the Suez Canal, and most recently developers predicted environmental disasters like heavy flooding leading up to the events of Battlefield 2042. And NASA just casually mentioned the other day the moon will cause significant flooding in the 2030s. Occasionally, DICE pull things from the past instead of just predicting the future, and for Battlefield 2042, they're inadvertently taking a page from the darkest days of Soviet Russia in World War II, specifically one of the most desperate bids to stop German panzers. In 1941, the Soviet Army employed dogs equipped with explosive devices and trained them to seek out tanks. In the ultimate betrayal of man's best friend, when the dogs ran underneath the tanks, a lever would trigger the explosives. It sounds practical enough, if not a bit barbaric, but there were some serious issues. Many dogs were frightened by the sounds of battle. Other times, they sought out friendly Soviet tanks because those are what were used in training instead of German tanks, and obviously that led to some problems. The program was deemed a failure despite limited success, and most dogs were thankfully trained for minesweeping duties or locating injured soldiers and civilians. However, in the world of Battlefield, players have been using a similar tactic for years. Affectionately dubbed Jeep Stuff by the Battlefield friends, it entails tossing C4 onto a vehicle, most often a Jeep, and speeding full bore at an enemy tank or armored vehicle. When lined up in close enough, the player bails out at the last second and detonates the mobile bomb, thus destroying the tank. The tactic works on just about anything mobile, and I've seen it done many different ways over the years. Helicopters and jet skis in Battlefield 4. We had motorbikes and fuel trucks in Hardline, etc. I think devs did take a break from that during Battlefield 1, but uh, of course, that did eventually return to Battlefield 5 after much clamoring from fans. It's a high-risk, high-reward maneuver, as the player can obviously be killed by the explosion if they're too close, or the explosives themselves can be struck by enemy fire and detonated at a distance. It's also a bit of a divisive tactic. Many players enjoy the challenge of Jeep stuff, and others regard it as cheap. Personally, it's a tool of last resort when other efforts fail, but I'm not gonna lie, I do enjoy it. Well, it turns out it's officially returning for Battlefield 2042 in a way that World War II Soviet engineers could only dream of. Developers recently confirmed that players will be able to attach C4 to Ranger, that's the robotic dog, in Battlefield 2042. There's still a lot we don't know about Ranger in the game, but we do know it is a call-in, and you do have some measure of control. Ranger can follow and protect you, or it can be used to scout locations. It's not clear if you can control it directly, like, say, a MAV or the EOD bot in previous Battlefield games, but we do know that you can command Ranger to self-destruct. It's unknown if that explosion damage would stack on any C4 packs. While this might sound a bit overpowered, it should be noted Ranger is very susceptible to enemy fire encounters like the EMP. There is of course also a limitation on the amount of Rangers available at any given time. So, bare minimum positive takeaway here, at least in Battlefield 2042, no animals are harmed in the making of dumb memes. Again, I'm glad DICE is giving players the option to employ Jeep stuff on the battlefield again. It seems clear from the game's reveal trailer that devs are more focused on fun and the sandbox experience over realism. So, I just have one other question. What else can I stick C4 to? We'll get more details on Battlefield 2042 in the coming months, so if you want to stay informed of everything, make sure to subscribe, tap the bell for the latest videos. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like, if not a dislike. If you want to support the channel, keep your money, share this video. As always, thanks for watching.